Yo, what's going on? Fucking back home, finally, after fucking like two months. Feeling like the biggest fucking gypsy on the planet, mate. Alright. Fucking, I made this hella dope video when I was, um, when I was in Jordan, right? And, um, fucking, my fucking, I'm the dumbest cunt, right? I put my laptop in, like, my carry-on. At the top of my carry-on, picked it up, smashed in heart, like the windscreen, like the fucking thing smashed, mate. Ciao, go on, see you later, I need to get a new one. But point of the fucking story is, um, alright, fucking alright, right, 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 what was it? The fucking vlog, the fucking, the vlog was called Flippin' Pancakes, man. The vlog was called Flippin' Pancakes, and I'll tell you why I called it Flippin' Pancakes, right? Some dude inboxed me on fucking, like, the other day I was scramming through my inbox on YouTube's, I didn't even know you had a fucking inbox, man, until I sussed it. And some cunt said, how do you be confident? And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? First of all, I didn't know you had an inbox. And then I was like, dude, guys are asking me for questions, in, like inboxes and shit, about how to be confident. So then I was just like fucking thinking about it. I was like, how do you be confident? Like, how does someone become confident? And, you know, because I know a lot of cunts who aren't confident. I know a lot of shit cunts out there who aren't confident but act confident. Only a confident person can spot an inconfident person. And it's just like, it's just fucking sad. And it's not sad, just some people take a long time to get confident. And if not given the right, situ put in the right situation, they never will be confident. And these are the cunts, 90% of the science, like, you know, you can tell who someone's confident, like, just like health things, man, body language, like someone who doesn't even look you in the eye, like, like, who the fuck can't look you in the eye? Like it's some people find that so hard to look someone in the eye, but they're not confident. Another one is man. I was thinking about it. All right, I'll give you a little story. Story time. Story time. Uh, fucking back at like probably in January, man. My training was hell shit, right? Not shit. Like I was trying really hard. I wasn't being pussy or anything, but like just shit wasn't going, man. My head just wouldn't let me. I'd try and smash PR, man, and sometimes my head just got the best of me. Like, I'd give my effort, but it just wouldn't go. I didn't have that mental sick cunt edge. And at the same time, man, I was eating, like, these, like, pancakes, dude. Making these pancakes every fucking morning. They were huge, dude. I'm talking massive. I'm talking spinner. I'm talking 55-inch Lex Steel fucking pancakes, man. Massive, right? And I was flipping them and they were always fucking breaking and I was getting hell devastated. And like, ooh, 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 what is life? What is life? I'm such a shit cunt. Everything sucks, 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 sucks. All right. And then one day, man, fucking, my mum's the smartest bitch on the planet. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. She walks right past me and she goes, sometimes it's not about how big the pancake is. It's about how big, it's, 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 it's about how much you believe you can flip it. Some fucking, I don't know, not word for word, I don't know what the fuck, but some, something hell motivation like that. And I was like, fuck me. Fuck me. I was just sitting there for like 20 seconds with my cock in my hand, just being like, fuck me. She is so fucking smart. How many times have you done that with your parents? Like, you are so wisdomful. So I'm sitting there, and then next thing you know, man, I'm G'ing up to hit pancakes up. I'm G'ing up. I'm doing like four punch. I'm watching Muhammad. I'm listening to Lose Yourself, flipping these massive pancakes, telling myself I'm a sick cunt. I'm the champ. I'm going to flip the pancake, and they fucking flipped. They flipped so dope. And every day, man, I flipped them, and let me tell you, man, I turn around, push my grandma on the floor, and say, listen up, mate, you have to repeat this after me. I'm the fucking champ, because no motherfucker out there can, can flip a pancake like that. And then what I did was, man, I took that confidence in my flipping my pancakes into every single fucking thing I did. Girls, training, walking through the supermarket, wiping my ass, cleaning my room fucking killing spiders, every fucking thing, I fucking approached it, like, I'm gonna do this, I'm the fucking champ, you watch me do it, a tra like a, a fucking trailer destruction, mate, when you walk up to the bar, kiss it, pray to God, I don't even, you know how people say, you know how people always like, touch wood, touch wood, that's never gonna happen, that's never gonna happen, fuck that, you have to say, fuck, I don't leave shit up to fucking chance, man, that, you shouldn't be like that, you know how people say, touch wood, I don't want you to get sick, I don't want you to get sick, fuck that, do you know what I mean, fuck that, you don't want to have any of these like half-assed possibilities and shit because you're the champ. You know what's going to happen. If you think you're going to pull 700-pound deadlift, you're going to pull it. It's just a matter of fucking time. 
That's the fucking flipping pancakes mindset. You're not going to get confident until you challenge yourself that's something that's going to make you confident. Go to a fucking party full of girls, take your pants off, take your clothes off, stand there, smile. That will make you confident. Pick up 600 pounds off the floor when you can't even do it. Like PR in the gym, something that you like, put on something that you think is going to crush you, smash it. That will make you confident. Getting rolled on the street, bashed, getting up with a smile will make you confident. Challenge yourself. That's the fucking key. If you never challenge yourself and you never put yourself in a situation that's going to make you fucking feel like a bitch, cry, sad, whatever, you're never going to get confident because nothing's going to make you confident. The world doesn't fucking owe you confidence, mate. Confidence comes from within. As gay as that fucking sounds, you have to earn your fucking confidence. That's why lifting is so dope because it's so... It's such a simple form of earning confidence. You hit a PR, you get confident. You hit another PR, you get confident. You learn how to transfer that confidence into life and you just become this confident fucking machine. And I'm not confident like go out on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got fucking uh, 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 sit kind of deadly like 700 pound confident, confident. I'm just talking confident. It's like when you walk on the street with your shoulders back and down, abs tight, core tight, talk at the fucking feet. You know that you're a boss. It's mental sick cunt confidence. You know you're a champ. You know you don't have to go out on the weekend, get pissed, take your shirt off, act like this fucking fake-ass confident motherfucker, hook up with 30 chicks, or you don't have to be some fake-ass girl wearing hell nice clothes all the time, sucking 20 dicks, having sex with 50 dudes. That's fake confidence, man. You know why it's fake? It's, it's, it's just fucking fake. And everyone knows it's fucking fake. The confident people know that they're not the confident people. When I see some dude out in town punching on, I'm like, this cunt has the biggest small man syndrome, never challenge himself, that's why it's not confident. The most confident thing I've ever seen someone do is just walk away from a fight. Just walk straight away. Confident people do that kind of shit. They fucking kind of do that shit. That's what I'm saying to you, man. Challenge yourself. Get confident. Flip big pancakes. Change your life. Change your life. Don't be online. Talking shit online is fun, okay? I like to talk shit online. But I will back my talking shit up online in person because it's just like that's what it is. So many fucking bitches online... Everyone fucking knows, shouts to everyone in the cage knows this. Everyone in the fucking cage knows this. That all these motherfuckers will talk about slapping people out, doing all this bullshit, and then it's just, it's just fucking all talk, mate. You meet the person in real life and their fucking pencil stick dicks, dicks in their hand. They can't even say hello without shaking. It's like, mate, comes back to the humble thing. Act like you act. If you talk shit online, talk shit in person. If you talk confident online, talk confident in person. That's what it's about. Take your life to the next level. Challenge yourself. Flip fucking 45-inch pancakes on the fucking daily. Be that sick cunt that will walk into your fucking supermarket at peak hour traffic and just go through and just... It's on, man. No remorse. Don't back up for no one. It's go time. Go time. Be that confident guy to say, excuse me, that's not what I fucking ordered. This is wrong. Don't be that pussy. And everyone's like, nah, don't worry, man. It's not that big much of a deal. Like, they... They forgot to take the butter off your chicken. You go, no, fuck that. You go, no, fuck that. I paid for this shit. I paid for this shit. All right? I paid for this shit. You say that. Another example, man. We're out sushi out in Sacramento and they fucked up our bill. Shout outs to Nick. You know who you fucking are. They fucked up our bill and shit. And that cunt was like, fuck that. Fix our bill. That's a confident person, man. Because like some hussy would have just been like, no, no, it's all good, man. It's all good. You fucking, you fix it, mate. You fucking fix it. Because we're all the champ. And I'm not saying I'm just the champ. You all need to act like the fucking champ. Alright? Peace. Oh, also, fucking quick note on the way. Getting hella questions on the Instagram, Facebooks, and fucking YouTube inboxes. I'm going to do a QA and a about not just, not just macros and training and shit. Because so many hussies out there just give training macro hussy Q&As. Q&As about life, man. About fucking life. About everything. Because people do the... You know, how to be confident, all this all this jazz, jazz, jazz. That's 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 what it's gonna be about, right? Just something like that. Some Q and A. Dope Q and A man. No, you know, duck fighting fuck off questions. Just good Q and A's. Also, getting a new computer, training videos coming soon. Stay tuned. Shout outs to Eddie Riley, shout outs to Alberto Nunes, shout outs to Eric Helm, shout outs to fucking Jeff Albert, shout outs to Melissa, shout outs to fucking every person, okay? Peace.